Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bring you lot a lovely video. So in today's video, what we're going to look at is the additive property trig identity for cos A plus B. Right, so in the last video, we looked at sine A plus B. And that basically, so the only difference here is that cos A plus B builds off sine A plus B. So we're still, we're still going to need to use this triangle over here, but there's going to be some additional steps. So let's get right into it then. So... The first step that you are going to need to do is you got to have, you lot have to find what this side is equal to, and to do so, we're going to basically use Sokatoa, and we're more interested to find the adjacent side of angle A, of triangle A, I should say, and we call it triangle A because it's got an angle of A. So we're trying to find this missing side. So applying Sokatoa. You know, we're doing a do, cos of A is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. The hypotenuse in this case is cos of B. We're going to replace that and solve for our adjacent side. And we have found it to be cos of A, cos of B. So that's basically going to be here. So we found this side. Right. So the next step from this point, which you are going to need to do, is find this side right over here. And we, we can write it as cos A plus B. Right, because if you combine these two angles together, you know, and then you consider this as a right angle, from here to here is going to be cos A plus B, so it could represent it as this. And lastly, but not least, is we've got to find this missing side right over here. And to do so, we have to go back to this triangle that we have from before. And we're going to try to find this this length over here and to do so we're going to use Sokotoa once more but more precisely sine of a is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and we're interested in this case we're taking a reference of this angle right here the opposite side is this side right here so the hypotenuse is going to be sine of b so really what you are going to have is sine of a multiplied sine of b is equal to the opposite so we found that this length right here is sine of a sine of b and therefore, if you take cos of A, cos of B, and subtract it with sine of A, sine of B, you lot will get an answer, which is equal to cos of A plus B. And therefore, that basically proves the cos additive identity as this, basically. So if you lot enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you lot later.